welcome to day three everybody of our virtual cricket camp, okay, um, today we have a warm up first, okay, uh, Mark's going to get us moving with the, with the uh, tennis balls, okay, get our hands moving, after that we're going to do the pull shot, okay, which is a, a fun shot, one that we had loads of boundaries with, and um, we're going to do some wicket keeping today, so I'm just going to hand over to Mark for a warm up. Okay, so for this you'll need two balls, okay, so ball in your right hand, ball in your left hand, this is just to work on our catching, focusing eyes on the ball, as soon as you feel the ball in your hand, grip it nice and tight. So we're going to go right hand catch, then left hand catch. Okay, start off, just a small throw, into the little rhythm, then we can go a little bit higher. Okay, so we're going to challenge yourself now, can we throw both balls at the same time, and catch right hand, left hand. Okay, so now we're going to try and cross the ball, so throw with the right, catch with the left, and at the same time we'll throw with the left and catch with the right. Okay, we'll use the ground, right hand, left hand. Okay, at the same time. Okay. If you have a flat wall at home, again we can use two balls at the same time, right hand catch, left hand catch. Okay, at the same time. Okay, so as you can see those are very difficult, excellent for your hand-eye coordination skills, so give those challenges a try today I'm going to play the pull shot, okay, um, really good shot, usually played against a short ball or a full toss, but one which doesn't bounce, we're trying to hit it hard and score if we can, four runs, six runs, okay, so Mark, we're going to have a go at it, I'm going to drop the ball to you, now Mark's standing, okay, so uh, if the bowler's coming from here, okay, his legs is there, he's going to play the ball across the leg side, right Mark, just going to drop the ball, let me see if you can hit the ball across to that side. So all I want you to do, okay, you're just going to get somebody to drop a ball to you, have a go at hitting on the leg side of your pull shot, okay, have uh, 20 shots and see how many you can get. Set yourself up a little target, okay, and see if you can get ball, the balls through the target. Once you've done that, okay, Mark, if you just run through some of the coaching points, so remember, if the bowler is bowling the ball from here, okay, Mark stands sideways on, okay, in a stance, okay, as the ball bounces, he starts to open himself up, Reaches out with the bat, okay, so he comes out the about uh, arm's length there, hits the ball, you can hit it flat, if he's going to hit a four, okay, if he wants to hit it up in the air, the bat face can go a wee bit there, okay, and he's hitting it hard, and his head, he's always concentrating on here, okay, making contact with the ball there, okay. A common mistake sometimes people make is they start to look to see where the balls went and forget about the ball here, so it's important to keep your eyes on the ball and make contact there. Okay, right, Mark, this time what I'm going to do is you just take one little step back, okay, I'm just going to bounce the ball down, okay, it's up to the match, okay, so the bowler's bowl the ball, he's bowled it a little bit short, I think, right, I'm going to score some runs off with my pull shot, so let's see how you do. Beautiful, four runs all the way, okay, again, nice one, get one down, right, again, Mark, a six, go. Shot. Six rolls all the way, okay. Right, this time, that was off a short ball. Now, sometimes a bowler will bowl a full toss, and a full toss in cricket's a ball that doesn't bounce, okay? So it goes for the bowler's hand, goes straight down, okay, and the batter makes contact there. So, this time, Mark, I'm just going to be a little under our feet, and you're going to play your pull shot again, okay, off a full toss. Shot, okay, again. Perfect. One more, okay, eyes of the ball, like six to finish off. Today's bowling skill, we're going to bowl off spin, okay, so in cricket we have a couple of types of spin, we have off spin and we have leg spin, okay, so with off spin, okay, what you do is you use first two fingers, okay, the, we have our seam, okay, and we have our forefinger and the second finger there are just wrapped around the ball, 
your thumb just rests underneath the seam, okay? So we have a nice comfortable position there uh, with the seam there. So the way we're going to try and bowl our offspin, okay, is with the ball in our hand, we're twisting. So if you're twisting, it's like a doorknob. If you're twisting the doorknob, and that's the action for the off spinner, okay? So two fingers on the seam, okay? Third finger resting on, thumb underneath, okay? And this time, okay, just to practice this one, what we do, we're going to go down on one knee, okay? Now for this, I'm just going to bend my arm just to get into the, the action of an off spinner. You can see the position of my wrist, okay? So I'm just going to start bowling the ball, okay, or throwing the ball. And as I uh, throw the ball, I'm going to turn my wrist, okay, as if I'm twisting a doorknob, and that starts to get the seam to rotate, okay, and that's what will make the ball spin when it hits the ground, okay, so let's see. Again. So if you see when I'm releasing the ball, the four fingers are the one that's really doing all the work, okay, it's the one that's pushing, okay, against the seam to get the seam to rotate. Okay, my wrist in that position. So if you get somebody lined up, a little challenge for you, okay, is to see if you can spin the ball so when it hits the ground, it's going to start to move, okay? So, what I want you to do, okay, if you can just watch the seam again. Okay, so I'm still down in this position, okay? Still here with the seam, and I'm going to just release it, and you'll start to see the, the seam rotate. And the ball's turning. Okay, so what we're going to do now, okay, we're going to have a go at bowling some off spin. So I'm going to ask Mark, Mark, I want you to have a go at bowling. Now remember, when you're bowling the ball, this time your arm must be straight, okay? So when you go to release the ball, okay, your wrist stays the same position with the off spin, your arm's straight here, okay, but it's that finger that's going to really push and start to work the ball, okay, to make it turn. Alright, so when we're turning in an off spin, okay, can you just point around towards the stumps? Okay, so we have our stumps here. Guys, an off spinner, if they're bowling the ball, okay, when the ball comes down, an off spinner, when the ball bounces, okay, it bounces and it goes in towards the stumps here, okay, so it bounces, it hits the seam, rotates and goes in. Alright, so it's always moving in towards the batter, okay, if it's a right handed batter, you're standing here, the ball will be bouncing. Out here and turn them back in towards them. Okay, Mark, do you want to have a wee go? Do you have a bowl here? Okay, so Mark's going to do some bowling. Okay, we're just going to flip the camera around. Alright, so we're going to see Mark in his bowling action. And Mark, we're going to see if you can bowl the ball. And this is try to get an off spinner, okay? And see if you can get a ball anywhere in this area here. And see if you can maybe get the ball to spin in through there. Okay, that's your little challenge. Okay, again, just on the wrist, good wrist position. Yeah, perfect, lovely, well ball straight through the gate there, okay, again. Fantastic. Okay, Mark, just get the ball for a second, okay, and when you put a cricket ball in your hand, and when you just stop, when you get to the top, it just shows the position of your wrist there. Okay, so you're there, up, and roll there, perfect wrist position. Four finger there on the seam, and turning the ball, okay, all right. Beautiful. Okay, alright, so that's off spin bowling, John. Can you just throw us a cricket ball a wee second there? So remember, just a couple of key things about bowling off spin. Okay, um, fingers apart on the seam, thumb underneath, third finger rest in there, okay. Uh, cock your wrist there. Alright, so that's the position all the time. And as if you're turning the doorknob, that's the action when you're releasing the ball. Alright, so have a wee go at that. And remember to start off um, when you're down on your knee, okay, just in a, in a throwing position, okay, to get used to the, the, the off spin action, okay, when you get more confident, then go back into your bowling action, alright, and into that position there, alright, where we can release the ball and see if we can get the, the ball to rotate, okay. Just a good way to uh, off spinners do all the time to get the ball in through their hands and get used to spinning the ball, they just twist the ball, okay, so you're just twisting all the time with your fourth finger. And you can see, you can start to see how the seam really rotates, okay? So that gets the revs on the ball. When the seam hits the ground, it spins and starts to move in different directions, okay? So have we got the off spinning? And
hopefully you enjoy that. Feeling today, okay, so we're working some wicket keeping. The wicket keeper is such an important job in cricket, okay? Um, he's always in the game, okay, when the bowler bowls the ball, comes through to the wicket keeper, they have to have good hands and fast feet. Uh, when the ball goes out on the outfit, okay, the wicket keeper is always up to the stumps to collect the ball. But what we'll do first, okay, we're just going to do some uh, basic wicket keeping drills, okay? So Mark is our keeper, okay, and what I'm going to do, Mark, I'm going to feed you the ball, okay? Uh, I want you just to move from side to side, just show us the position of your hands. So good wicket keeper, uh, hands working together, little fingers together, knees bent, and feet about shoulder width apart, okay? So we start off with Mark, okay? Receiving the ball, watch that in your hand. Okay, again. Good. Okay, right. This time, Mark, I'm going to start moving you from side to side. So let's see how you move. Cross, on the position well there. Over your right hand side, lovely. Okay, again. Left hand side. If you just notice with Mark, okay, he's always presenting his hands, okay? So the hands are always out ready for the ball, okay? Mark, this time I'm not going to tell you where the ball is going to go, you're going to have to start working across. Good, again. Yeah. Good. Over again. Right, so if you're doing that at home, if you have somebody to throw the ball to you for your wicket keeping, have a little go of those exercises, okay? Present your hands, bend the knees, okay, and just move in side to side, okay? Um, if you're by yourself and you're at home with a tennis ball, okay, Mark, just want to show us against the wall, just the exercise you do to practice your keeping. So you're just moving across, side to side. Yeah, so just against the wall. Very, very simple. Okay, this time. Mark, can we bring the stones in? So this becomes a bit more realistic. Um, Mark's on behind the stones. So this time, Mark, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the ball, just when it comes down, and you're going to have to move across if you're in a game and take the ball. Okay, so you're ready. Okay, in a good position. Okay, so we're starting up for here. Okay, and moves across, and it's a good pick. Okay, again, over your right hand side. Lovely. Right hand side again. Yeah, right, let's test you another side. Over. Good. Over. Over. Good. Okay, so just on your movement, set up target, okay, and you're moving from side to side just to receive the ball. Right, Mark, what do you do now? Okay, it's this time, so you go your position. Usually, for a wicket keeper, the position that we take up is your left foot is level with this stump. And this time, Mark, I want you to start off before I let go of the ball. You're going to start off in this position down and bend your knees and hands just touching the ground. As the ball bounces, I want you to come up with the ball. Okay? Right, so we're in a nice low position. Good, head's in a good position. Okay, ball bounces. Comes up with the ball. Up with the ball, lovely. Good. Right, let's try the other side, Mark. Moves across. Excellent. Across again. Good. One more. Right over. Well done. Fantastic. Okay, so you see the difference now that Mark's starting to come up with the ball. Okay. Um, head in good position. Uh, feet just a bit shoulder width apart. Okay, so. Try those feet on both sides, okay? Try about 20 feet and see how many you can do. Right, just to move it on and make it a little more, more game realistic, okay? If you have somebody else at home that can help out, I'm going to bring in John. John's going to come up and John's my batsman now. So now this is what happens in cricket, okay? So it's very simple to think, right, I'm just going to stop the ball. But now you have somebody in front of the wicketkeeper's eye line. He's going to bat in his hand, the bat's going to be uh, swinging about. So when the ball comes down, the wicket keeper's got to concentrate because the ball can come down. It can hit the edge of the bat. Mark can take the catch to the wicket keeper. Okay, the uh, ball can come down. Sometimes it might come down past the batsman's legs here. And the wicket keeper has to be across on that side. Okay, or sometimes, and this is a really tricky one, the ball can come down and it goes between the batsman's feet there. So I'm going to test Mark here. I'm going to throw a few balls down. John's going to be our batsman. Okay. Uh, Mark, let's see how you do with these catches. Okay. All right. So now Mark's got a bit of distraction because we've got a batsman starting to swing here. Yeah, a wide one there. 
Right, Mark, we test you a couple maybe down the leg side. Now these are the real testers because the batsman's body's in the way there, okay? So it's down the leg side. Wicket keeper gets round there. Down the leg side again. Excellent. Okay. Maybe a bit closer to the batsman. You get one that's a full toss and that can go straight through. That can catch you be surprised, okay? And the odd time, okay, you can get one by a shorter one. And this one the wicket keeper has to be really short, okay, because the ball only bounce just a little bit higher. Okay, so bounces a wee bit higher again. That's a great ten. Okay, so that just makes it a bit more that makes it a bit more realistic when you put the batsman on there and the wicket keeper's working from side to side. Okay, just another little exercise. Mark, if you get the two cones there, just bring them on. And this time, just put one either side, Mark, so you don't Right, so this time, I'm going to put the ball out, it's going to be pulled a bit wider. What the keeper, what Mark is going to have to do, Mark, you just go out each side. Because Mark has to collect the ball out wide, and Mark, I want you to bring it in and try and get a stop on okay? So if a batsman steps out of his ground in cricket, John, do you want to come here bat again? And if John's batting, and John decides, right, he's going to step out of his crease and he walks out of there, there's a line here, if John walks out of his crease and the wicket keeper receives the ball and hits the stops before John gets his foot back, it's called a stomping and the batsman will be out. So it's a really important skill in cricket, okay? Alright, just watch again. Okay, if you come down the leg side, John step out for me to hit. John's missed the ball and receives it and I've hit the stops. Right, thanks John. Alright Mark, so this time Mark we're going to work on a few stompings. Okay, we're ready, we're going to go out to the red first. Out wide, take it across, lovely. Red again, out, round and good. Right, we're going the leg side this time, these are the tricky ones, okay? Right, go across, good. Across again, good. Right, so now we're testing for the stump ones, okay? So Mark's working side to side, trying to get those stump ones, okay? Mark, what I want you to do this time is when you're going to take the stump one, I want you to go out, I want you to take the ball wide and see if you can transfer the ball and the one hand and knock the bales off, okay? So, he's in a good position here. Nice and steady across. Stomping, good, lovely. Takes the ball right across. Red again. Over, transfer hands, good. You go onto the leg side now, okay? Over, you switch your hands, lovely. Nice work. Over again, good. Right, I'm not telling you what side you're going to go. I'm going to put it a little bit faster at you, alright, so you've got to be on your toes here. Okay, here we go. Good work. Again, leg side. Lovely. Off side. Good hands. Feet moving. Good. Last one. Here's a big one. Nice work. Okay. Alright guys, just a little bit of wicket keeping. It's a great skill. It's, you like to be really involved in a game. A wicket keeper is a fantastic position to have in cricket. You're always active. When the bowler's bowling, you're in the game all the time. If it's a fast bowler, you have to be really athletic. If it's a spin bowler, you're up close to the stumps that Mark was doing there, just moving from side to side to take the stumpings. And as well, when the ball goes out in the outfield, you always have to be ready because somebody will throw the ball up to you, to you for a chance of a run out. Okay, well done everybody. And our questions in session three today. Okay, question one. Name three ways a batsman can get out in cricket. Question two. What is the official in cricket called? And question three, what is a cricket ball made from? What material? Okay, well done today everybody. Some really good skills that we uh, covered. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.